Well, welcome back to the channel. <sighs> Thanks for joining me today, and look what we've got hands on today. Uh, if you're interested in the Speed Triple RR, grab yourself a cup of tea, grab yourself a brew. We're going to jump on, and we'll see what this baby's all about. I'll pull over in the usual way in a bit and uh, run through all of the specs of the bike. But anyway, let's jump on, because I can't wait to, to jump on this machine. Ah, and we'll see what she's all about. I love this display. Um, I'm going to refer to the RS quite a bit on this video. Obviously, this um, this machine is. Well, see, it, I'm not going to say it's exactly the same because it, it isn't by far, and we'll talk about that in a bit. So, here we go. This bike. Let's take a left here. This bike has only done a few miles, so I'm going to have to go very easy, very easy today. Um, yeah. So anyway, yeah, let's get, let's get, let's start talking about this lovely machine. First of all, right? I, I, I'll say this right now. I'm a massive lover of the RS. I own, I own the Street Triple RS, and I've tested the the Speed RS, and I, I'll, be, I'll be honest, I absolutely love that machine. And the, uh, the specifications of this bike. The RR, which I believe came out at the tail end of last year, it's a 2022 model. So, basically, what we're looking at here, I'm going to have to go very easy. This is a road focused, I would say. I mean, it's kind of like in the middle. I mean, where would you, I don't, you know, where would you put this machine as far as uh, you know machines go? It's not just the RS with the, with clip-ons, you know. They've changed uh, other other. There's a slight uh, change in the uh, dimension as well. The wheelbase. It's slightly shorter. Not a lot. I think it's about six mil shorter. Stay there. <laughs> we'll just warm the bike up. Not so I can't go too mad today, but we'll give her a little tickle. To see how she performs. There was a bit of criticism before regarding the. I mean, if you've seen my other video. If you haven't, feel free to watch it. It's on the channel. I'll put a link in the corner somewhere, over here, or anyway. Yeah, a little bit of criticism about the suspension being too too hard. Uh, this one having the, I think it's the EC2 Olins, which are fully adjustable, uh, semi-active suspension. So not only can you, does it adjust when you um, change the rider modes, five rider modes on the bike. It will also make subtle adjustments as you ride, like i.e. when you corner, when you brake, when you accelerate in the various modes. But you can also, we'll have a little look in a bit as well, but you can also trim that down even more so should you want to. Oh, absolute pleasure to ride. And actually the riding position, you know, with the clip-ons, is, is um, it kind of reminds me of my, my uh, dare I say it, the <laughs> Suzuki GSX 1000R, you know, the, 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 the position. I, I, I was expecting my feet to be a little higher up actually on the peg, so they've not overdone it with that either. I think they're, they're slightly up and further back on this model. So, uh, I just love the sound of that, that exhaust, that triple engine, the intake, everything. Where do I sign? Where do I sign? Well, calm down. <laughs> calm it down. Yeah, so you can see here you've got your, obviously your electronic, all your, all your, your cabling for your front suspension here, your front forks. Um, yeah, and they, they don't actually have that on the RS. It's got their, also on this one, I mean, like I say, the specs are pretty much the same as uh, the RS, but... <laughs> Whoa, rain it in. Rain it in, Jakey boy, rain it in! <laughs> well, I'm actually in road mode, so I want, the reason I've got it in road mode is I wanted to see what that suspension was like on the old, you know, on the ride, so... So far, so good, no issues, really. We'll try the brakes in a minute as well. 60 mile an hour. Yeah, I'll try nothing behind, so... Loads of bike with those brakes. It's got the Stylema or Stylema, whatever you want to call it. Brakes on the front. We try the rear. Nothing behind me. 
Yeah, very good. We're trying both together, actually. 60 mile an hour. Oh, yeah, the stopping power there is... Uh, <laughs> I kind of forgot the performance of, uh, of this uh, machine. It's a 1200cc, well that's 1160cc. This giving you 177 brake horsepower and uh, a fairly decent 100, I think it's 125 newton meters of torque. So uh, that torque is available sort of mid-range upwards on the on the old rev range there. Got quick shifter and blipper as well. Oh, it's got some performance. I'll tell you that now. <laughs> I absolutely love the riding the riding position on here as well. You've got also, I mean, down to little things like the mirrors. Got no real issues there with the mirrors. Uh, they're not, they're not vibrating away. It's just so smooth, and so I've got to go a little bit easy. I think I'm the first one out on the, on, uh, you know, this, this is a brand new bike. This one, as in brand new. So uh, turn that indicator off. There has, it has got self-cancelling indicators as well, but I don't think they're set up in the menu there. So uh, not a problem. going to do, I'm going to stick her in sport mode, go into the mode setting there, here we go, I love how that, that dash scrolls through there, we'll go, what have we got here, road, rider, uh, where are we, I've gone the long way round on the display there, here we go, uh, where are you, don't be shy, uh, Not let me adjust it by look of it at the minute. Do it when we stop here so I can have a look see what I'm doing properly. There we go, sport mode. Oh, whoa! <laughs> oh man, got a tanker in the way, spoiling my fun. But there you go. Anyway, yeah, we'll talk about the bike a bit more. Um, it's got the, lo the lovely single-sided swinging arms and, and, and uh, as well, that looks abs absolutely lovely and we'll, like I say, bear with me and I'll, I'll pull over just up here and we'll, we'll have a full walk around of this lovely machine and I'll run through all the specs uh, in the usual way. It's actually got cruise control on here as well, uh, cruise control there on the left, button cluster is the same as the other, it's all the same as the, uh, the RS. Um, this bike as well has got the, a few extras, optional extras, I think there's 30 in the range, 30 plus, um, ranging from um, all sorts, strobing indicators, uh, you know, LED indicators, heated grips, that's got a heated grips on here actually, we'll turn them on, I love a bit of heated grips, it's not that cold today, it's 12, 12 degrees, but probably not going to get any heat in these tyres, uh, yeah, uh, this side, uh, again, we've got the, the hazards, uh, uh, start, stop, it's got the keyless uh, system on here as well, and the, and the fuel fuel cap um, home button on there as well. But this 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 display here, I quite I quite like that. I mean, there's there's mixed reviews on that. Uh, but personally, I I, I do like that. Uh, what else can I tell you? Braking, it's got the like I said, it's got the Stylema Stylema brakes. Really lovely machine. It's got the single headlight on here rather than the on the RS. It had the uh, the twin like bug eye type type lights and. This, this sort of um, big hit wall, minimal, minimal type of fair in there, you know, with a small screen. I don't know, you'd have to really tuck down to, to sort of get yourself out the window. I mean, I'm not, I'm not really getting any wind, to be fair. Not really, nothing major, anyway. Full of rider aids, this bike as well. Obviously, it's got ABS, traction control. Um, all the rider modes, five rider modes, roam, rain, track, uh, um, sport, 
and uh, the user one, or the rider, rider sorry, customizable one. It's got the, uh, the MCS master cylinder and uh, SRAN adjustable lever and the ratio as well, which is quite handy. Should you want to take this on track, and I think you would absolutely have to, you would absolutely have to take this on the track if you owned this. But I think it's more, it is a road focused, it's just, you know, I'm very comfortable on this. Absolutely, you know, I'm in a lovely place on this bike and uh, really can't moan at all. We'll pull over up here actually and we'll, uh, I'll give you a thorough walk around this machine. Out of the way, not to cause any bother anywhere. What's she like for neutral? No issues at all there. Second down to neutral. No issues. Let's try that again. First gear. No issues at all for, for neutral. Let's put the old side stand down. Whoa, she sounds an absolute beauty. Right, okay, I think we should turn her off and I'll give you a full walk around of this lovely machine. Right, so here she is, the Speed Triple 1200RR. And what we've got is we've got the liquid cooled 12 valve double overhead cam inline three cylinder, uh, which is actually 1160cc. Uh, 1160cc and it's giving you 177.6 brake horsepower at 10,750 rpm and uh, yeah a lovely um, 125 newton meters of torque at 9,000 rpm so yeah that's that's to be honest that's a fair old amount of torque there uh, it's got the multi-point sequential electronic fuel injection with electronic throttle control I uh, didn't really notice anything snatchy on there, but we will, so I've got a bit more riding to do yet anyway. Uh, it's got the lovely stainless steel 3 into one header uh, system with an underslung primary silencer and a mounted side-mounted secondary silencer. And you can see the exhaust valve there uh, on top of the, the pipes there. Um, what else can I tell you? Yeah, it's got an X-ring chain as well, which is which really will give you a longer life, a little bit more longer liberty from, uh, from the O-ring type chain. Uh, clutch, wet multi-plate slip assisted clutch with the uh, the six-speed gearbox. You can see how the gearbox is stacked here. Um, it's got the stacked gearbox. Um, what else can I tell you? Try and shift assist as well with uh, yeah the quick shifter and the blipper. Didn't really notice any issues with that. Um, like I say, the bike is brand swanging new, so I saw this bit. It's in the run and in process. So uh, it's got the aluminium twin spar frame with a bolt on aluminium rear subframe there and also cast aluminium 17 inch uh, aluminium wheels front and rear and have a look at that single sided swinging arm actually look at this yes well you can't see the swinging on this side because they're in one <laughs> yeah i think they've shortened it down slightly the swinging arm i think by about six mil that's probably how they've got the the slightly uh, shorter wheelbase i might be wrong but yeah let me know in the comments what you think of the bike you know uh, tires on this model it's got their Pirelli Diablo Super Corsa V3 uh, tires uh, actually the SP yeah SP tires on there and uh, to be honest they, they would be absolutely uh, wonderful on the track I would say you know they're right up there with the with the uh, you know with the spec there Olin suspension as well uh, on the front it's got the 43 millimeter fully adjustable you saw you saw there uh, on the display, upside down forks with 121, sorry, 120 millimeters of travel, and it's got the Olin's SEC2 OBTI system by electronic compression and rebound damping. And on the rear is the Olin's monoshock rear shock unit um, with the linkage and 120 millimeters of rear wheel travel. Again, with the Olin's SEC2 uh, system uh, for compression and rebound damping. Again.
Uh, the, the brakes are well, yeah. The brakes they got some some amazing stuff on power there. Are uh, there uh, on the front there? You got the twin 320 millimeter floating discs by Brembo, uh, and the Stylema Stylema monoblock calipers. Yeah, again with ABS, and it also has the radial master cylinder with a separate w reservoir span and adjuster there, so you can adjust your your span on this one and your no sorry span on this one and the ratio. Uh, for your for your fluid level there, so that'd be handy on the track as well, I would say. Uh, on the rear we have a single 220 millimeter disc tucked away in there with a Brembo twin pot caliber. Yeah, somewhere around there. Can't even see it to be honest. Probably tucked away under there. So yeah, um, what else can I tell you? Yeah, it's got the uh, rear mast cylinder with separate reservoir, obviously. Uh, instrument and display. We'll turn that on. Absolutely love that. Yeah. Come on. Turn her on. <coughs> Here we go. Yes, look at that. Speed triple 1200 RR. Uh, it's basically, yeah, it's got five rider modes on there as well. Road. What does it say there? Bike will... Oh, oh OK. Uh, bike will start in road. Uh, return to previous. OK. So, uh, mode. Yeah, you can just flick through all of these on here. You can do it on the fly. It's a bit fiddly. I, can, I like to kind of do it, you know, uh, you know, before I sort of set off, really. But you can... You can adjust it on the fly. Oh, uh, what else can I tell you? So yeah, the seat seat height on the bike is uh, the same as the uh, the RS 830 millimeters, so no issues there, especially for a short ass like me. Anyway, uh, wheel base, like I said, uh, six millimeters shorter than the RS. It's, this is 1,439. Uh, the rate 23.9 degrees. If you're interested in all of these um, figures and numbers, the trial 104.7 millimeters. Fuel tank capacity is 15.5 liters, and uh, yeah, you're looking at 6.3 litres per 100 kilometres for your, your fuel consumption, uh, which with my mass, with my mass uh, it's not the best of mass, but it's around about 45 mpg, I think. And uh, the bike weighing 199 kilograms, uh, that's the wet weight of the bike. It's actually up one kilo from the RS, I don't know where, where it's gained that, but um, yeah, it's up one kilo. And uh, uh, service intervals, 10,000 miles or 16,000 kilometres, 12 months service interval, whichever comes first. Uh, it comes in two colours, crystal white, uh, storm grey, uh, starting at 17,950, or this one, and I love, I absolutely love this colour. This would be my, uh, my, my the, the one I would have anyway, it's my personal preference, which is red hopper and storm grey at 18,250. And uh, that's according to Trans website, which is £300 more than the, the crystal white. Uh, yeah, it's got 30 plus accessories throughout the, uh, you can you can go through the configurator on the uh, Trans website and configure the bike and uh, look at all of the optional extras, including heated grips, uh, tire pressure monitor system, scroll and LED indicators, quick release luggage system. Yeah, we'll turn the indicators on actually. I'll put the hazards on and we'll have a look. I mean, what do you think? What do you think of the, I mean, look at those indicators. I love them. They're an optional extra then. Same as the heated grips, but you know, what do you think? Let me know in the comments. Do you like this um, this styling? I mean, look at that. Yeah, it's got loads of carbon on here as well. Full of bling. Absolutely full of bling. Um, yeah. Um, yeah, I'm loving this, to be fair. Absolutely loving it. Let's have a look from the rear end. I, I'd have to have those indicators as well, I'm afraid. In fact, I could even, I, I should really put them on my uh, my RS, to be honest. <laughs> right, anyway, I think we spoke enough about the bike. I think we should jump on and ride some more. Yeah, I think to be honest, it would definitely take some beat in this. Um, I mean, this, I just love everything about this myself. I, I love the colour, I love the styling. And there's, I mean, there's negative, negatives. I don't really know at the moment what I can even um, sort of think of, to be honest. Negative, negative-wise, uh, maybe the fair one. I don't, I don't know. I don't know whether I look at that and I think, I think, 
yes and then I look at it and I think no but I think you know it's difficult it's difficult to choose um, you know any or to come up with any negative negatives on this bike sounds lovely <laughs> rain it in yeah just love everything about it really I need to be very careful could quite easily get me uh, a wallet out <laughs> it wouldn't do my bank account any good but <laughs> but yeah uh, overall I, I, I can't really grumble to be honest it's actually better than what I was expecting I, I, the bar was quite uh, the bar was quite high on the on the RS you know and this is both this I'm not going to say it, it's not an RS uh, you know it's not it's not this is different to the RS yeah it's got the RS engine the RS chassis you know the RS frame yeah you know the RS wheels and of course it has it's, it's based on the RS it's the RR the race replica well, I think that's what RR stands for anyway so uh, I'll just try this quick shifter out in a minute again with the revs up a little bit higher which they generally work better in that um, situation, you know, with the revs up higher anyway. Me personally, just riding normally, I, I just gen generally use the clutch. Normally, I'll take a right here. Cool. You know, even at low speeds, the blipper, not, you know, the downshifting. Oh. No issues with it. I'm gonna have to slow down, rein it in. <laughs> Jeez. Well, you let me know what you think in the comments. You know, could you see yourself out on one of these? Could you see yourself test riding in one? Yeah. Let me know. Certainly would recommend it. Highly recommend it. So I haven't got this, this for very long, so it's just a, purely my first ride impressions and uh, walk around of this lovely machine. And, uh, so if you're new to the channel, there's plenty more bike content coming. Uh, all sorts of content coming, so uh, hit that old subscribe button. It'd be much appreciated to have you along. And uh, yeah, like I said, plenty more reviews coming to the channel and uh, ride outs, all sorts. It's absolutely gorgeous. Just, oh, I say, the tyres on this bike have uh, not seen a lot of tarmac, so I need to go very easy. It'd be nice to have it for a little bit longer. And, uh, I'm going to make these lights. Uh, yeah. Rain it in a bit. <clears throat> well, what more can I say? I think you know with the, it's got like the uh, the uh, the IMU, the inertia measurement unit on here as well, so it looks after you when you're leaning over and it's you know it's watching you for your for your for that side of things. It's got the semi-active suspension all round and that, um, which is you can tailor the suspension to your requirements. It does make the adjustments like I said earlier when you change the rider modes but oh, yeah I think you'd only really notice the uh, you know that sort of uh, you know like foreign adjustments to that if, if, if you're uh, you know, maybe on the track or riding hard I don't, I don't know I'll say I'm no expert but I can't, what I will say is that this, this is some bike it really is some bike this um, yeah Fairly easy to read the dis uh, display there, rev counter. You've got a few different settings on there as well, I think. Uh, but you can change the display. Like I say, I'm, I'm not going to go into all that today, but... Like I say, get yourself over to, to the dealer, your local dealer, and... Uh, cool. You won't be disappointed.
<laughs> very, very, very impressed. Very impressed. Another thing I will mention as well is he's got the all standard, standard, or, or you know, that comes with the bike. It's the um, the my connectivity, the Triumph connectivity, where you can connect your your mobile phone, your device for your sat nav, for your music, uh, for your GoPros, and yeah. Yeah, money-wise, yeah, it's expensive. No, if you wanted this this one, it's three hundred pound more than the other one. Hello, sir. Uh, but this is fully loaded with pretty much everything you need. Um, suspension, no issues with that. Um, cruise control. Oh, it's just yeah. I'm very reluctant to take this back. I think I should just take it home. <laughs> uh, minus minus um, a fair wedge out of my bank account. Well, I haven't really got it in my bank account, but... <laughs> well, well, OK, well, anyway, thanks for joining me today. Much appreciated. And, uh, yeah, hopefully I'll see you on the next video. So take care. See you soon.